Hey guys, it's Matthew B. Hunick here, and I wanted to talk about hydrogels today. So hydrogels, or superabsorbent polymers, are a very useful tool in modern agriculture. I actually live in Florida, and I have lived in South Florida as well, so I know the challenging nature of growing in a very warm environment, especially that can go long periods of time without water, so the high heat and lack of water Obviously, that's going to be detrimental to plants when they're mostly water. So hydrogels are a useful agricultural tool that are very frequently overlooked. So whether for potted plants or a raised garden bed or an entire thousand acre field, these polymers have great value in modern agriculture. Most superabsorbent polymers used in the industry are based on potassium acrylate. This polymer is ideal for agriculture because it is non-toxic and it can absorb hundreds of times its own weight in water and then slowly release that back to plants over time. The potential implica implications for water savings and reduced crop loss is tremendous. So polyacrylate gels should typically be mixed in with the soil at a rate of 1.2 ounces per cubic foot. So this means a very small amount goes a long way here. They have been shown to increase fruit fruit production by upwards of 17%. And in addition to higher yields, this soil amendment protects crops from damage during drought conditions. So products like Mebule's Sky Gel last actually up to three years in the soil as well before its usefulness starts to, to degrade and it just safely decomposes into carbon dioxide and water over time. So a very sustainable product that doesn't require a lot of ongoing maintenance there. The hydropolymer can also be developed into a film-like form by cross-linking the potassium and sodium polyacrylate polymers. This film technology, also developed by company Mebul, acts as a membrane and therefore reduces the risk of cross-transmission of disease because the roots are not in direct contact with the shared nutrient solution. The Mebi farm, located in Dubai, is utilizing this technology to successfully grow crops such as lettuces and tomatoes right off the desert floor. So this operation claims to be using 70% less water than conventional agriculture, which is incredibly beneficial to regions facing desertification. So I hope you see the value of this technology and maybe we'll touch base on this a little bit more in the future. I think it has tremendous merit in 2021 and the future going forward. I don't know about you, but I love watching TED Talk videos. So I included a link to a very fascinating one about this iMac film farming technology. So scroll down and you'll see the link at the bottom of the transcript of this video. Thanks.